Hi, it's Jess here from Nigeria to Create. Thank you for joining me today. So we've got the flip through of, of this little um, Midori style traveller's notebook thing that I've made. It's a bit smaller than a normal traveller's notebook because I had to be um, governed by the size of this travel wallet that I got for Christmas. So the travel wallet itself measures, it's just under eight inches there, um, centimetre wise, it's about 20 centimetres. And then the width is about 12 centimetres or about four and a half inches. So um, that's what I work with. So I got this for Christmas and I just thought, oh, that would be a nice um, travel wallet. So the actual wallet itself, if I take the journal out. And you can see what what it would have been like. Obviously, I've added the elastic. Um, so it's got a nice big pocket there. A nice big pocket there and then oh that's another big one and then it's just two littler ones so you can put your travel doc documents in it says take me with you and i just thought what a great idea that if i use this as a reusable cover and um and i make a little journal for all my trips so that i've got it there with me with my travel docs i can keep receipts and everything with me as I go and that this is all being made out of junk there's a couple of bits of ribbon that, that I had um, but basically this is all being made out of um, some of the stuff that I got for Christmas like this was a gift bag um, that's what I've made the cover out of um, and some of its packaging and, and wrapping paper so this measures um, six yeah, six and seven eighths, and then the width is looks like four and a quarter is, is what I've done. So the signature is single signature and it is um, designed to go in the elastic and then uh, it can be removed at the end of the holiday. Okay, so like I said, I did um, a gift bag for the cover and I made um, a pocket. So it was the whole of the front of the gift bag and I folded it up to form a pocket. I've done some stamping and then I made a tag. So it's backed on um, tonic cans of tonic water uh, packaging. The inside's this nice brown colour and I think they make a nice backing for a tag. And then I just stuck that to the front and just simply put memories on it with some ribbon. So this colour is very like Stampin' Up's Mint Macaron. So that's what I've used there. There's room there for other things in that pocket. These pages are brown paper packaging and I've just stamped on them in Night of Navy. This is red cabbage dyed paper. And um, again, it's been stamped, um, added a cluster. This is some tissue, some tartan tissue that I had. And this strip here is some wrapping paper. And then I've die cut again from the brown packaging. And then I just stamped onto some scraps of coffee dye, tea dye paper. Um, and stuck them on. This tag is brown paper packaging and onto that tonic water. Um, again, I've left this one just sort of plain stamping. And then these, this is paper ribbon from the Christmas crackers that I just then um, used a Knight of Navy Stampin' Up blend to colour it, use whatever you've got. A little bit of string. This was some old note paper, uh, pads from my son's college days, um, some wrapping paper, which I thought was really pretty, um, just stamped on the other side. Again, some more 
um, note paper, some tea dyed paper there. It's 120 GSM tea dyed paper there. Again, like before, create a pocket which I've sewn round, a little cluster and a nice big tag. In the tonic water bottle, you've got a, a little um, circle cut out for whatever reason. Um, so I just stuck a bit of that wrapping paper behind because I thought that looked pretty. Um, there we go. Some more packaging paper there and the lined paper from my boy and uh, some more packaging paper. This was an envelope, so really thick envelope really thick so I just covered it in tissue paper because I didn't want to add too much more thickness to it done a little cluster there and then just added um, something to sort of journal on put a bit of gilding wax on it um, and then this is I got these from a charity shop I just trimmed it down to sort of fit so it's just like a little file folder poking out in there the trip that we're uh, going to be taking in, in March, um, we're going to visit my uh, Ed sister and her husband. Um, and um, she's planning lots of excursions for us to do. So I thought I could write them down here. Just a little quick document of them and maybe put a picture of something. I'm going to ride a horse in the sea. Quite excited about that. We're going to go on kayaks to mangroves which um i had to google what one of them was <laughs> yeah very excited so and um another little cluster there well a bit mad with gilding wax but i quite like it to be fair more packaging more of that file paper this is avocado dyed paper I just put a bit of washi on there because i'd snipped it a little bit so i wanted to cover that up I went a bit wrong there with the uh, stamping, but I was quite happy, really. Another one of them clusters. And then this is more of the... All the tags are made out of the tonic water um, packaging. And then I just put a bit of that wrapping paper. That gold ribbon was from a present. And then that little bit of blue ribbon, well, that was from my drawer. Some more string and some gold twine. From me drawer for that tag some more so there's plenty of room for me to put photos and write on some more packaging and then i decided to make um a little pocket which um, i just sewed in place this was again out of the wrapping paper and then i just edged it with a bit that's from the the bag that I made this out so if I just die cut it and put it on there so the edge of the pocket's got a little bit more strength this is just some brown paper packaging stamped and then I just put some tissue on the back and then stuck a bit of that file paper like that one to sort of write on I didn't want anything heavy going in this pocket because it's only wrapping paper so um, so yeah, more sort of journaling space there with the lined paper and the packaging paper. So that's the centre fold. Um, that, that's just some wax thread that I tied it up with. And um, yeah, I really like that, um, that bit of stamping there in the middle. So now we're going back the other side on the reverse. Oh, put that in upside down, did exactly the same on there, except I made that paper a bit, a bit smaller. So, yeah, as we come the other side, they are just exactly the same. Um, this part of the box, this was where the seam of the box was. So when I ripped it off, it had a little bit of white left behind. So when I stuck this wrapping paper on, I just wrapped it round a little bit. So that. Again, that's from the Christmas crackers. So there we go, there we go, little cluster there, a bit more sort of gilding wax, a little bit more washy, um, and I put a tag in there. I didn't put any on this tag because it's going in and out of a full pocket and I didn't want it to, to get caught. That's been um, tied there with 
paper ribbon from the cracker and a bit of um, twine that I had in my stash. Again, this was another one that I had to fold over and I just added a little bit of stamping there. There is room to put other things in this pocket if I choose to, and I've left it there so I could write on it front and back. Um, I didn't put a cluster on there. I forgot, and I won't go back. Um, so, yeah, so lots of space to add my memories. Another one of those sort of playing cards, but I really like the way that that has turned out. And there we go, some more. That's Christmas wrapping page. And then that's the final pocket with the cluster. Final bit of brown packaging. And then here, I've put a label on this because the label on the tag is down there, which I didn't think about when when I did it and I left the back just playing with that with that birdie so that is my little journal and um, so I hope you've enjoyed watching it if you've missed any episodes then do go and check back I'll have a playlist of um, this journal so you can uh, check them all out that's the wrong way around I might have to adjust that was it just the way? Yeah, it's just the way it's done, isn't it? No, I think I've stuck it on the wrong way around. I'll have to adjust that. I did wonder when I was doing it, it was like, oh, will it, will it sit right? And no, it doesn't, it's on backwards. So we'll change that. <laughs> Okay, I'll have uh, pictures over on nigesa.co.uk. I'll link down below for the Stampin' Up! products that I use that are available to buy. I have used some retired stuff. And um, I'll see you all again very, very soon with a new project. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.